Ashwell Prince was in the runs again on the second day of the LV County Championship match between Lancashire and Leicestershire at Emirates Old Trafford. The South African taking his tally of championship runs this season into the 900s as his side continued to dominate. Having dismissed Leicestershire for 207 on day one, Lancashire knew that they had the chance to make full use of their bowlers' hard work as the second day got underway in bright afternoon sunshine. Paul Horton was soon making the most of the conditions. The opener has been very consistent this summer, often giving his side just the start they need at the top of the order, something that's not always been the case over the last few years for Lancashire. Horton dealt mostly in boundaries, striking nine of them in his 85-ball half-century, the fifth time he's got at least that far this summer. He was dominating the scoring at this stage, leaving the more watchful Carl Brown in his wake as these two opened up with a partnership of 91. Brown, too, is starting to find some form. He's been in and out of this side in the last couple of seasons, but has enjoyed his opportunity to open. He opened up, too, when Mark Cosgrove turned to spin. Brown's contribution to that opening stand being 31 runs. Horton had made 54 when he was out to the last ball of the morning session, which actually started in the afternoon, of course. A brilliant diving catch in the slips by Andrea Agathangalou, earning Rob Taylor a wicket in his third over. Taylor nearly had a second wicket with the first ball after lunch, the edge this time falling just short of the slip corner. Brown eased into his innings in the afternoon session. He'd worked hard for his runs in the first one and that hard work was now being rewarded. It appeared to be that kind of pitch, one where runs had to be earned and Brown had certainly done that. He and Alviro Peterson now started to put their team in charge, although the latter could have been caught by Jigger Nake, although he would have been unlucky if it got out to that. Brown reached his 50 after taking two fours off two balls from Taylor. That took his boundary count to nine in a 50, which occupied 104 deliveries. He was to go on for a while yet, though. His partnership with Peterson realised 83 runs, and so Lancashire were only 33 runs behind when Peterson was LBW to Nate for 46, after going too far across his stumps, with a total now on 174 for two and the home team in control. What Leicestershire could ill afford now was to make any mistakes, but that's what Nile O'Brien did behind the stumps. Prince led off a stumping chance before he'd got his innings going. Brown batted through until the tea break, which arrived with him on a patient 80, made out of his side's 201 for two, which had Lancashire just six runs behind and with an awful lot of batting still to come. Only a second first-class 100 was in the offing for Brown, as this six off Nake took him into the 90s, while at the other end, the country's leading championship run-getter was once again warming to his task. These two taking the total up to 248 for a lead of 41, Prince moving with a fair amount of ease into the 40s. Brown can curse his luck. He was just one boundary shot away from a rare 100 when he was undone by some low bounce from Ben Rain and trapped in front for 96. Prince remained and he was soon celebrating yet another 50 this summer. This was the seventh time that he's got this far in championship cricket this year. His latest half century coming off 67 balls just after the second new ball had been claimed. Prince had struck seven fours thus far and was soon looking good to add to his 300s this summer. He has, of course, had a brilliant career but can rarely have batted better than he's done this season. He was soon past 900 runs in this competition this year and he now has more than 200 more runs than his nearest rival. It was, overall, another tough day for Leicestershire, although Nate deserved his second wicket, the one of Stephen Croft, who mishit the spinner to Atif Sheikh at mid-off after making 22. It won't only be Nate who will be encouraged by the amount of turn he was getting by the end of this day, because Lancashire already have a lead of 107 runs going into the second half of this match. They'll resume on the third morning on 314 for four, with Prince still there on 74. His tally of runs for this tournament this year now at 909 and counting.